regards to this question of Black Lives Matter, the first thing I always say is that in many ways, this language of Black Lives Matter um, needs to be rethought, right? It needs to be rethought because in many ways, when, you know, from my vantage point, the American empire has actually never had a problem affirming that black lives matter, right? Sister uh, Dr. Nell Painter could, could tell this story much better than me. I know she was here today, but when we go back into the 19th century and we read the archives of slave masters, it's real clear that they actually were the first people to affirm that black lives mattered, right? Because we live in a nation literally founded on the propertying of people. The literal mattering of black bodies was essential to the US economy. So back in the 18th, 19th century, there was no debate about black lives mattering. People knew that those lives mattered. Uh, even today, when we think about the neoconservative Republicans on the right and the neoliberal Democrats on the left, both fighting tooth and nail to privatize our prison systems, those people know that black lives matter. Right, because without those lives, without those bodies, those prison cells would be empty, right? So what am I getting at? The debate really has never, there's never really been a debate in the United States about whether or not black lives matter. The debate has always been about whether black lives are human lives, right? The very humanity of black people is what the debate has always been about. What does it mean to live in a country where the very idea that black people are fully human beings is a relatively new concept in the history of the Western world? That's a fact. We forget that the category of the human is itself a social category, a social construction that has not always included people of African descent, people who look like me and you. And so I start there to say, first and foremost, it's so important for us to remember Black Lives Matter is a human rights movement. 